Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in previous video, I have shown you how you can create an RSVP lookalike an app, right? Uh, but in today's video, I'm going to show you how I can integrate data service with UiPath apps. So if you're new uh, to UiPath apps, but still you can just, uh, you know, work on it. Uh, it's not so big deal because I'm going to uh, create everything from scratch in this video. So this is going to be a step by step tutorial that I'm going to talk about and create. So what exactly uh, you have to know a little bit about a little bit background is I'm going to provide you with now. So I'm gonna uh, take you to my channel. So let's go from here. Okay. So this is my channel. Uh, you can, after you land up on my channel, go to playlist. The first thing that you can learn here is maybe you can go over and check out how we can create an app because uh, this will create, give you some good understanding. Okay. And also I'm going to talk about integration of UiPath apps with data service. It's good that you know a little bit information about data service, but not all the uh, videos because I have 13 videos on data service, but I may expect you to at least learn about the maybe first and second videos because that are the basics that you can understand because in this videos I have ev explained everything right from the scratch. So having said that, I wanted to get take you to the demo and cre create everything right from the scratch. So firstly, let me show you what you're gonna um, actually learn in this video. So firstly, I'm gonna to my app. Okay. Uh, here it is okay so i am actually creating something like the data that is there in my data service i'm going to show up on my uipath apps okay so how i can do that how i can filter the data how i can sort the data by using different functions and all that are there in the uipath apps i'm going to show over here so firstly if you see this is my um information this is my entity okay so student db is my entity so if you see i have this particular data over here so this is the data that i have in my student db okay i have location employee id employee name and uh, total years of experience along with the serial number so these are the different data fields that i have in my student db entity so in order to, uh, so if you see, this is my app, okay? So my app has actually got all this information, but I'm going to do something like, you know, I'm going to sort uh, here. If you see, I'm going to filter the data table uh, that contains only New York, okay? So what I'm going to do, let's do one preview and see here. So if you see that now the data table contains only the employees that are from the location, which are New York City, right? Uh, so this is how you can actually do a lot of things around uh, your path apps in the data service. So let's start and see how you can actually create this and do. Okay, so I'm going to close this up, this as well as this. Okay, so how you can create some fields, how you can add the data, how you can create a data service entity, everything I have explained in this uh, video, in this first video that I have shown. I'll provide the link also in the top of the video and you can also check it out the way I have shown you in the video. Come up to my channel, go to playlist and check out that particular video. Also, you can find the link in the description. So now uh, going to UiPath apps. So let's do right from the beginning. So going to build a new app. Uh, let's say data service app. Okay. And from here as my, uh, I'm going to take a blank page. Okay. So as I have whole table that needs to be shown over here, what is the control that I'm taking here is a table. So just pull up that table here. So this will be coming up. But what I have to do is I should add the data entity into this, right? So I'm going to have entity and in this is my tenant. And in the tenant that I have this student DB, right? So I'm going to add student DB. And if you see system users will be automatically added because it's a default uh, fields, everything that will be over there. So just say add. 
So once after you do that, you can see all the entities that's been added and linked. It it will it that uh, the process that we are doing here is called as binding, binding the data entity into your application, your path app. Okay. So if you can also see the data over here, whatever the data that you have provided there, the data can be seen over here. So once after that is done, go to your table. Here, I want to bind this both things. Okay. So just uh, click this in the data source. If you see here you can see the entities right just pull over that entities into this place okay so just say preview so see this is changed uh, i mean the changes have been saved and all so we can see that the app is getting loaded so it has provided me the information that is there in the data entity this is perfect right so i have got all the information that's there in my data entity onto my uipath app this is superb amazing right so now what i'm going to do i'm going to filter so i'm going to add a filter here so we have multiple functions right so here we have all these different functions out of which i'm going to pick filter function so this is a filter i have to put in the source and condition so what is the source for me uh student table right student db where is this this is my entity so this is my table and what is the condition so here my condition is from the student db uh from the location So I think my internet got disconnected. Let me just um I'm gonna share my screen and it's been recorded. Okay. So what I'm telling is I'm gonna filter here. So I'm gonna apply a filter. So I'm taking that filter from here uh, in the functions so i'm going to take a filter function which has a source and condition right so the source is basically the students db so that's the entity from where all the data has been coming up right so i'm going to take that particular source db and what is the condition i want to uh, filter the records which has uh, a location as new york city right so i'm going to take the location from there to here and after which i am saying if this equals, what is the uh, con uh, location New York, right? If this equals that, then I'm going to put in, right? This is perfect. So that's it. Just save. Usually it saves by itself, but I'm having some connectivity issues, internet issues. So that's why um, I'm going to do it manually and say preview. So it's being loaded. Let's see. Perfect, right? This, this is what we are doing by giving that filter condition. It has given me only the two records that has the location as New York. And if you see the old records, it has Hyderabad also. So this is perfect. And this is what I wanted to show you in this demo. So how you can actually uh, you know, link or you utilize the data in uh, data service entities that are there in your data service into your UiPath apps and then how we can bind them and later how you can, uh, you know, showcase the data that's there in the UiPath apps as well as how you can filter. So this is what it is and it's so simple to utilize and also so simple to, you know, get the data easily from the data services to your UiPath apps without much of coding and all right so this is great perfect so now uh in few, in coming up videos i'm going to show you a lot of things because i'm exploring a lot on uipath apps right now so i'm going to show up a lot of uh, sortings and then you know mobile friendly apps and all this going forward so do not miss any of those videos i ask you to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll get the videos as soon as i upload them thank you so much for watching i'll see you with next video next time bye